First strike. First strike. First strike. Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the SRS-99. The SRS-99, which stands for Sniper Rifle System 99, is a semi-automatic, gas-operated, anti-material rifle produced by Miserai Armory. The rifle is standard for snipers and is configurable according to mission requirements. The SRS-99 entered service with the UNSC Army in 2460. Due to its modularity and ongoing manufacturer support, the SRS-99 was adopted by other armed force branches in 2521. Though introduced during the insurrection, the SRS-99's best known use was against Covenant forces during their war with humanity. It proved invaluable in eliminating most personnel types, from grunts to hunters, from long to extreme range. Unlike most UNSC rifles, the SRS-99 is not in the bullpup configuration wherein the magazine is inserted behind the pistol grip, instead being inserted in the front in a more conventional fashion. Nearly all components of the weapon can be changed to fit mission requirements, including the barrel assembly and stock. The SRS-99 is considered a very powerful, reliable, and accurate weapon. They can be effectively utilized in a wide variety of environments, including when exposed to the vacuum of space or submerged underwater. The SRS-99 is chambered in a powerful 14.5 by 114mm cartridge. HVAP rounds have been used in these guns during the fall of Reach. Trademarks on this gun are only on the left side, such as the UNSC logo on the stock, a bunch of trades on the body, which includes a, both the UNSC emblem and wording, and a couple of different characters located above and below the charging handle, and lastly, a UNSC logo on top of the scope. The SRS-99 features what looks like a pretty customizable stock. The bottom portion looks like it can be taken off, the cheek rest looks like it could be replaced with different sizes, and a sling mount to the bottom. Moving over to the body, from top to bottom, there's a huge bolt, which makes sense considering this gun fires big rounds. In the middle, there's a big ass select fire. Flick it towards the bottom, it's on safe. Flick it towards the top to fire. And this little thing looks like a mag release lever, which is ambidextrous. Moving towards the front, there's a carry handle, a bipod, and another sling point at the bottom. And finally, at the front of the barrel, is a big ass muzzle brake. My god, that's fucking thick. <laughs> Due to their roles as sniper rifles, SRS 99s are virtually always deployed with mounted optics known as Oracle end scopes. This scope is capable of a 5 up to a 10 times zoom magnification. Now for in-game stats, the SRS-99 holds 4 rounds in the magazine, plus 20 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was around 110 rounds per minute. Reload speed I got was around 2.24 seconds. The tactical reload speed was around 2 seconds. The max effective range is 23.8 meters from the hip. Using the Oracle and Scope, zooming in 5 times, the max effective range is 91.6 meters. The max effective range zooming in 10 times is a whopping 228.76 meters. I had to walk back outside of my firing range to get this value. Moving on to damage output, it takes one shot to break shields and one shot to health, totaling a two shot kill. First strike! Or one shot to the head for an instant kill. Body shot TTK I got was around 0.27 seconds.
and that's the Halo Reach Sniper Rifle. Overall, I always felt that Halo Reach the Sniper had that nice balance of difficulty. It's not that easy to use, but it's not that hard to use either. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel, and leave your comments down below on what you think of Halo Reach the Sniper Rifle. And until next time, peace.